welcome to another Taste Test Tuesday where we taste test things on Tuesday. Now, a lot of you guys are probably wondering what this is all about, but mostly just went out for a run and this is, just happens to be what I wear when I go for a run. Now, for today's Taste Test Tuesday, those of you who have not heard of Joseph's Pita Bread, need to know about it right about now because these are one point per pita. That's right, one point per pita. So how do you get much better than that? Um, to show you how big the pita is, like, it's about that big, uh, which is pretty comparable because any other pita out there is gonna be two, three plus points. Uh, so one point pita is uh, pretty awesome. Now eating a pita bread by itself probably isn't gonna be a very good taste test Tuesday. Um, so I'm gonna be making myself some lunch. There are a lot of different things you can do with pitas. You guys all know that. Uh, what I like to do is either I'll cut up all the pitas and eat it with hummus. Uh, that's like my go-to snack. So that's one point per pita and then probably two more points for the hummus. So a three point snack isn't too bad. Now for my lunch, I generally like to make egg salad sandwiches. If you don't like eggs or egg salads, then this video is probably not for you and you can move on if you don't wanna watch the rest. So let's make an egg salad sandwich. So total, this is one point for all this. Three eggs, celery, and a tablespoon of mayonnaise. Now pair it with a pita and you get two point meal. Now I only used half my pita because only half was needed for the meal. So I'll just save this one for later, maybe make some more. Um, yeah, so Joseph pita. Like it's super thin, which is good. Not thin enough where it breaks apart, but like perfect to hold food. I even think people make pizzas on these things. Like they're a solid base for a pizza. You make tuna salad sandwiches or something or eat it with peanut butter. I don't know. Tell me in the comments down below what you, how you would eat it. What would you put in it or on it? Give me some ideas. Now, where do you get Joseph Pita? If you go online to low carb grocery, I'm not sponsored, but if Low Carb Grocery wants to send me some stuff, I would take it. But if you want to get your hands on a one point pita, from what I know, you can get it on lowcarbgrocery.com or .ca or something like that. Um, there is a low carb grocery in the city that I live, but I find that the shipping online is just more convenient for me. So, Joseph Pita. Highly recommend. As usual, thank you so much for joining me on Taste Test Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed these videos, and we will see you next week. Cheers.